What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Nidovin, and today we are gonna be cracking open the most anticipated Pokemon product of the year, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. That's right, my friends, we are opening up the Charizard UPC today, and you can see it on screen right now. What an amazing box. We're gonna crack into it. We're gonna see what's inside. We're gonna have a look at those promos, and we're just gonna enjoy the unboxing of this amazing product. So let's get into it. And before we crack into it, let's just have a look. So it says, you know, the Ultra Premium Collection. I wish I could show you the whole thing. Got the awesome uh, colors in here. And on the back, uh, we're gonna have a look at what's inside it in a minute. Okay, what do you reckon? There we go, crack it open. So first off this box, I love the gray Zard or silver Zard. It's got a bit of that reflection in there. Um, let's pull that out here. Bang, chuck that out. Beautiful, look at that. That is an awesome, awesome packaging piece. There's your sleeve, get that out of there. And uh, let's crack into this bad boy. Okay, so here we have it. Let's have a look, the grand reveal. Let's open this up. Yo, look at that. There is a VMAX Charizard on the inside. Um, very Galarian, um, very reminiscent of the Galarian uh, games here. We've got the VMAX Charizard, and it just looks amazing. I wish I could show the whole thing on, on screen, but I'll try to rotate it around here. And we can just see this here. Oh, amazing. Let's just check this out, guys, right in here is a little box and in the box is the play mat so um let's just check this out let's just check this out i think this is the play mat yeah let's check this out i've not seen this in the flesh yet unroll unroll that is an epic epic play mat that is incredible charizard what a beast what an absolute beast guys so why don't we use this as our unboxing um, play map for today. I'll just pop that away for a second. And let's crack into the actual product itself. You got the three boxes in here. And what I'll do is I'll just take each of the three boxes and uh, we'll see what we can get out of there. So let's see what we can find up here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's a synopsis or a summary of the entire Sword and Shield kind of era. After that, what we have a look at is the left side. And can you see that guys? <sighs> I've been waiting to see this card in the flesh for so long. We'll crack it open in a sec, but here it is. The promos, the promo cards. And unfortunately this one has terrible centering. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's really off the right to left, stronger on the right. Um, and woof, a bit hacked up on the bottom, but I love this card. We'll crack that open in a second. I'm just gonna put it to the side. And then inside here, guys, we have, we got Lost Origin times, what is that, two. We got three Astral, one, two, three. And we got Brilliant Stars. And then in the middle compartment, guys, whoo, here we go, we got, V Star marker, which is awesome. Put that to the side. And we have a stack of packs in here. And is there anything else? No. So, what have we got here? We got fusion, more fusion. Okay. And more fusion and evolving skies. So, it's good to be able to have some of them in the box as well. We got Viv Voltage, Dab, or sorry, Darkness Blaze. And we also have this. Oh, it's um, it's a Charizard coin. There you go. Awesome. So we got a stack of those, and I think that might be it. Ah, oh, here's all the extras. <laughs> all right, so we got our sleeves. Check them out. That matches the play mat. I'll pop them to the side. I'll move, move the coin over there as well. Fantastic. And then, oh, look at these. These are heavy. These are heavy. Status markers, and these look amazing. These are sick. And of course, some heavy, heavy, heavy dice as well. So we've got a few things in here. Um, an awesome box, 
fantastic. I'm just gonna um, move this out of the way and kind of reset for the opening of these packs. Well guys, what a great start to this unboxing. Um, this product looks amazing already. And as you can see, we've got the promo card right here. I'm gonna crack it open. I'm gonna have a look at them just to see how they're looking from a condition perspective um, and just give you guys a real close up of the promos from the UPC. So let's check it out. So straight off the bat, guys, these are some of the most amazing promos I've ever seen. Um, this card, uh, <laughs> I just, it's it's amazing. Let's just let's just crack it open and have a look. Just have a look. Just have a look at this one. Just so we're not distracted for a minute. Let's have a look at this. So the back is looking okay. Um, you know, oh, look, actually, it's not. Look at that. You can see the damage here. Man, these got cooked. But that's okay. <laughs> Still an amazing looking card. It looks just like its counterpart. So there's that one. What's the next one here? Oh, wow. Charizard V Max, the promo card uh, that matches the, the mat. What an amazing card. And I hope you can see the texture in that in the camera light, um, huge, amazing. Condition on this one's not too bad, but centering is terrible. Um, and then of course, oh, I think, oh, Charizard battling Mewtwo. I hope you guys can see the Mewtwo in that one. Just so cool, just so cool. There's a ton of different Pokemon in here. Um, hope you can see Diglett's in there. Is that a Tangrowth? Maybe a few others as well, but that's just amazing. I know this card is appearing in V-Star Universe. Um, I think in Japanese, which is gonna be pretty amazing to see. Can't wait to open up that set too. But these three Zards, just, just have a look at them. I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm stoked with these promo cards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sleeve these ones up. Um, and we can Maybe put them, put them to the side there. And look, we'll crack open these other packs and see if we can get any hits. Obviously, these are some of the big hitter sets from the Sword and Shield block. Um, and maybe we started off with, uh, with Darkness and Blaze. So Dab, what we're looking for out of Dab is, of course, the Charizard for me. And what a fitting Charizard it would be if we did pull it. Um, there you go, guys. You can keep that. Um, if we pulled it, because it is, I think, is it a VMAX? I'm not sure. Here we go. And we got Piers. We got Starly. Perliant. Marini. Carablast. Sinistee. Familiar Bell. And a Hollow Tyranitar. Oh, not bad. Hollow hit. Can't complain. And we take it over to Vivid, Vivid Voltage. Uh, Chonky Chew obviously being the chase out of this one. I've hit a couple of V Max Pikachus out of this, just never the rainbow. Maybe today is our lucky day. So let's crack into this one and see how we go. I don't know what the codes mean, but that code was different. I mean, that was an old code, wasn't it? Hmm, okay. Marina, Stunfisk. Here we go. Him on top. Panfi. Duskull. Sorry, guys. Apologize about the angle there. Pineco, Mudbray, and non-hollow. Two cannon. Okay. Let's crack open some fusion. Let's see what we get out of here. Alright. Again, different type of code card, eh? What was it? No, I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. Simisir. I think Simisir is getting a pretty decent alt art in the next set. V-Star Universe, I think, if I saw that correct. Crosmoth, some gloves, Larry in the Meowth, Tynamo, Quillfish. Uh, what's that, more Pico? And here we go, Greninja V is a hit. You know what, sleeve it up, why not? All right, we'll continue with Fusion. I guess, guys, for me, like, 
the cards themselves, the promo cards, they're, they're a big um, they're a big draw for me. That that's a big reason why I um bought this box, and so it doesn't really frustrate me, I suppose, if I don't get the mega hits out of these. But obviously, you know, if we get that Gengar um, from Fusion, or if we get you know the Muse or anything like that, or the Espeon V Max, I'm not going to be complaining. But you know, just I, I collect a lot of the time. I do collect for the art, and so I'm not. Not too, um, not too frustrated if we don't get massive bangers every time. Um, I might do a video on some of the better um, hits I've had over the past couple of years, at least the ones that I've filmed. Um, there you go, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not too mad. I mean, Greninja is pretty cool. So this is our last pack of Fusion. See how we can go. Pants here. Mankey, here we go, and non holo Azumarill. I've had no luck with Lost Origin, um, but maybe today that changes. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, is, did I see something? Is that something shining back there? Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Let's see. What's in Lost Origin? Aerodactyl. <laughs> Or uh, Giratina. Let's go if we can hit three, four. Um, let's see how we go. Fire. Ooh, always a good indicator. Relican. With a lost vacuum. Cascoon. Finian. Zorua. Barris. Inkay. Oh, Basculin. Honchro. Will it be a Honchro following a Honchro? It's a Aerodactyl V Star. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's like my only hit from Lost Origin. All right, let's see if I can turn that V-Star into an alt art on the next pack. We'll see how we go. So another pack of Lost Origin. Um, I've got maybe a handful more packs coming from Lost Origin from the United States. And look at that, guys. You see that? That's been cribbed. Dang. And what's with the color? Can you see the color difference between this, this, and this? Can you guys see that? That's a different blue. Oh, what's going on? Print quality. V-Star marker. Here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Felix. And there's my creamed polywag. And... Oh, that's actually not a bad artwork. Nice. All right, let's go. So let me know what you guys think, guys. What are your favorite sets out of the sword and shield block? Um, are you loving your Charizard UPCs as much as I am? Have you had as good of a hit rate as I have, or has it been terrible for you? Just let me know. Let me know what you guys are um, looking forward to, looking forward to opening, I guess. Um, I'm loving this. I could open one of these every day um, just for those promo cards. I mean, look at that. That's amazing. Here we go, Togepi. I love all the artwork from the uh, Legends Arceus game as well. Really cool Heracross. And what's this? Oh, Galarian Mr. Ryan. All right. You know what? I'll pay a V. I'll pay a V. Here we go. Let's see what else we can get out of this. Astral Radiance. You know? Pretty much get the Much Amp or go home. Is that right? That Much Amp has been skyrocketing up in price. Um, I only ever had the... Japanese version, but I'd love to get it in English, and maybe I'll get it today out of this pack. Oh no, wrong code card, but that's all right. And let me know, guys, what other products. I reckon this is one of the most highly anticipated products of the year, but that I think it might be a close second with the V Star Universe, which technically is not. No, it is coming this year. Yep, it is coming this year, um, but Crown Zenith, that might be a a big contender as well for one of the better sets of the past um, past couple of years. And did I miss a Gradient Greninja because I was talking? There you go. Not bad. Radiant Greninja. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's do Evolving Skies, team. Let's do Evolving. Um, why not? Why not? Here we go. So... What do we do? If I pull a Moonbrion, 
What am I gonna do? Am I gonna eat it? We'll see. Okay, there's the moon brew on there. Okay, let's check the quality. Not too bad. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can pull something decent. Um, I'd be happy for anything, any hit out of Evolving Skies would be sweet. I'm just stoked to be able to open up the product itself. All right, let's add, and oh, there we go. All right, I did say any hit, and we got something. Cool, not bad. Umbreon. Come on. <laughs> let's do this, Umbreon, let's do this. Give me the right code card. Come on, guys. This is my only chance to pull it. And I think that was a green code card, so no deal. All right. But that's okay. Here we go. Snow Leaf Badge, Say Lie, Applin, Cutie Fly, Dimple, Eevee, and Alteria. I've got so many of these Alterias. Okay, we're getting to the tail end of it, guys. And hey, we got a few. We got a few. I'm not mad. Let me know what you guys think of the product though. Um, if you think it's worth it. I did pick this up at retail. I think it was 250 or 220 bucks from EB Games. And um, I'm really, honestly guys, I'm really happy just to have those promo cards. I've never said, I'd never thought I'd ever say that, but you know, just to, um, just to have the cool artwork. Um, I'm not too, not too mad guys. All right. Okay, here we go. Brilliant stars. The old art Zard. If we manage somehow to pull it out of this, oh, there's a chance. Um, I'll be over the moon. You know, you can go with its battle scene brother over there. Okay, here we go. Claydol, Acerola, Starly, Shroomish, People Up. Oh, there is Trainer Gallery in this as well. Yeah, we haven't had any, but. No, and we haven't yet again. And look at that, Hollow Empoleon. Not bad. Arceus, do your thing, do your thing. Come on, Alter Art Zard. That's all we're that's all we're asking for. Is that too much to ask? We'll soon see. We'll soon see. All right. Okay. Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry guys, a bit of a technical difficulty. All right, let's see what we can get out of this pack. Okay, let's see. Oh, fire, come on guys. All it takes is one. Ooh, come on, what a card. Shinx, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Felucha, Grimstyle, and oh, there you go. Not bad. Arceus V4 Art. What a great card, actually. Look at the look at the dark lights against the background. That is that is pretty cool. Look at that. I've not pulled this one yet. That is a that is a great card. I love that. Charizard. All right. Oh, no chance. No shot. Oh well, guys. It has been good. It's been a good ride opening up the Charizard UPC. What a great product to have. Um, I'm really stoked to have been able to open this one up on YouTube with you guys. Um, and yeah, we'll end it with a Flygon. There's all the hits, not too bad. Not too bad of a recap. I can't complain about the Greninjas, which I really like, and the Aerodactyl V-Star being one of the best hits that I've actually had so far from uh, Lost Origin, as well as that full art Arceus. What a, what a banger. So I'm not too mad about that. I really, uh, I'd recommend you pick up one of these UPCs just for the joy of opening up the packs and also to enjoy these promo cards too. Um, and what I want to do is I just want to show you the, the incredible textures in those promo cards, maybe just one more time. And I wanted to show you the card I was referring to from the Brilliant Stars or the Starbirth set. Of course, it is this um, Charizard and Venusaur battle card right here. And you can see there's that mountain in the background 
and these trees as well in the in the yeah in the foreground I suppose or the background as well there you can see um, Venusaur's up on that hill doing his thing and Charizard here and then you can see that in this card where they're kind of resting um, you know that same mountains in the background that same podium where Venusaur was battling from is there as well with these trees here too so I, I just love the idea that they've designed this um, with the the continuation or the continuity in mind and I just think that's just that's just amazing design work that's amazing artwork and that's amazing storytelling in general which we all know and we appreciate the Pokemon company for well there you have it the ultra premium collection Charizard box has been opened we've cracked it open we've pulled out some pretty cool hits if I do say so myself and we've also been able to add those three cool promo cards to our collection guys I really want to say thank you for tuning in if you like what you saw please hit the like button and subscribe if you have any other ideas of any other products you want me to unbox please drop it in the comment section below and I will see you on the next one.